Okay, guys, I have the Jungle Book playing in the background. If you hear the music, and uh, my little girl is watching it. But, okay, <clears throat> let's get to the part that everybody's waiting for about the Instagram group is bitch better now to give you guys a little bit of a background about that group name um if you guys are into new jersey like that or if you're like me and you know you just haven't really been watching every single season just a season here or there in season two danielle stopped she was at the fashion show kim d's fashion show and she walks out of the room and Teresa judice and jacqueline Lorita are outside and Teresa says, hi, honey. And Danielle Stop says, don't call me honey. And she says, is bitch better? And that's when, you know, she says that she knows about her foreclosure. And that's when Teresa starts chasing her around the New Jersey Country Club. And the police are called. And Ashley Holmes rips Danielle Stop's hair out. And she's in the limo crying to Kim G. Not Kim D, but Kim G. Anybody remember her? Anyway, um, so that is like where that is bitch better comes from in the New Jersey fandom, as far as the New Jersey fandom is concerned. So this group was named after that. Now, there was two members of this group, Lindsay Lulu and a Teresa fan named Greg, like he, he doesn't even have a username. He actually just goes by Greg. Uh, Greg is his username, basically. But he is actually a true Teresa fan. He was out in L.A. for uh, Louis' launch of his social media app. And Greg, when I say he's a true fan, I mean that he is not going to flip on Teresa, no matter how these stan accounts try to spin it no matter what they think they're exposing and also no matter uh no matter what they say because if there was actually a fan that had a connection to her in that group it would be greg greg goes to a lot of her events he tries to make it to as many events as he can and he's he actually lives in new jersey greg was on my podcast. So was Lindsay Lulu. Now, Greg, on the last, he, he did one recording with me, but I split it into like two episodes, I believe. On the second episode where Greg was, um, on the second episode of Greg's segment, at the end, he actually announces that he's going to start a podcast with Lindsay Lulu and they're going to call Is Bitch Better? Now, if you guys are curious about that podcast, there is an intro trailer and the intro trailer, they just introduce themselves and then there's one episode and that is it. They haven't kept up with it. And what I want to say about that is that there was some infighting over that podcast. He wanted to name it Is Bitch Better, but the group, the fan group was called Is Bitch Better. So there was a little infighting amongst them. Greg actually got kicked out of the group. Now, why is that important? It's important because Gabriella, Melissa's old nose, she tried to present herself as being in tight with Teresa. She and Teresa, they were basically butt buddies and she was on the phone with Teresa 20 hours a day she got the inside scoop with Teresa you know her and Teresa would go out for drinks all this other stuff but like I said if there was anyone in that fandom group that actually had any sort of connection to Teresa it would be Greg so there were certain things that she said which by the way Greg got kicked out of the group relatively early and process of elimination, right? When you want to be the queen bee, when you want to be queen of the day, you have to eliminate those that could expose you. But some of the things that Gabriella, Melissa's old knows, love, 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 Gabriella, all are H-O-N-J facts. She goes by multiple different usernames depending on what platform you are most active with. That is like the usernames that you would probably be familiar with. She has said certain things that um, someone like Greg would be able to know if it was true or not. So for example, BravoCon, she had let 
this fandom group uh, know that Teresa gave her VIP tickets to BravoCon and all this other stuff, which is not true, but there was nobody there to question her. Nobody like a fan like Greg to be able to question her. So when it was nearing BravoCon and people would ask her, are you excited about BravoCon and all this other stuff? She said that her disabled child had to have surgery. And at first she said the surgery was scheduled on Thursday. That's why she couldn't go to BravoCon. But she actually ended up posting a photo on Wednesday and say, hey guys, you know, my child just came out of surgery and whatever else. And see, the thing is when you lie, like the way she lies, it's hard to keep up with the lies. You have to keep up with the lies. And it's just, it's very hard because the more you lie, the more you have to remember what you said. So that was like one of the lies where she couldn't remember the date. She has said Thursday, but she ended up showing a picture of her supposed disabled child having surgery on Wednesday instead. But what she actually said even before all of that was that she had given her tickets to Martinis with Eddie. Now, that is something that was very easy to find out. Martinis with Eddie is somebody who has a Bravo um, audience on Twitter. I think he's most active on Twitter. And Martinis with Eddie was at BravoCon. So Martinis with Eddie also had a few Bravo levities on his podcast. So something like that, it would have been easy to find out. But she got a little bit too big for her britches. Here's the thing. When you lie and you're able to get away with a lie, your lie starts to become more extravagant. So this was one of her more extravagant lies. It was something that was very easy to find out. Like I said, once you become successful with one lie, you become emboldened to have more extravagant lies. So even though this lie was something that was easy to prove, she felt emboldened. Well, somebody asked the account, Martinis with Eddie, if it was true that Gabriella gave him her BravoCon tickets. He said, no, I've had my BravoCon tickets for months. So that was the first lie that she was caught in. Now, she also said that she was at Teresa Judice's wedding to Louie. She was not at Teresa Judice's wedding with Louie. She wasn't with any wedding with Teresa, but she definitely wasn't at Teresa's wedding. And a lot of people, a lot of people in this fandom group believed her because she had photos that you did not see on the social media accounts, and she had photos that you didn't see on like entertainment outlets. So people felt like, oh, okay, she was actually at this event. She has said that she was at Teresa's wedding and people believed her because where would she get these photos from, right? The photos that she got was, if I would have to give a process of elimination, it was from Jen Aiden. Jen Aiden was the one who was giving her the photos. Now, having said all of this, why was she making it seem like she was close with Teresa when is Jen Aiden and Melissa Feaster that she's getting the info for. Okay, no shade to Feaster or Aiden, but Teresa Judice, she is the more popular, recognizable name 